Mark, first game of the season tomorrow. Are you excited to get going? Yeah, I think that is the word, excitement. This is what you're in football for. So we've been, it seems like a long time ago last season now, and we're, we're, we're excited what lies ahead. Um, excited by the challenge. It's going to take a lot of hard work. It's going to have to be a lot of togetherness um, in, a, in a very uncomprom uncompromising league. So, um, yeah, everything to look forward to, hopefully. And Solly Hall Moors are our first opponent. So, what, what can we expect from them, do you think? Well, I don't think it'll get much tougher. They're uh, obviously very unlucky, ran a great race last season. Uh, unlucky to lose in the, in the playoff final. Play a great brand of football, very experienced manager, great players. So, again, that's everything that this league's about. Uh, a big challenge coming uh, coming up, but one we've got to face head on and, and be excited about. And um, like I said, we'll, we'll know where we are quite quickly. Um, we're, we're a new group, um, you know, six weeks old now. So we're hopefully starting to gel and, and grow those relationships. And uh, I'm sure as the season goes on, hopefully we'll, we'll get stronger even more. In terms of fitness and injuries, is there any news for the fans? Um, no, well, look, we'll be putting our best, best team out the best we can. Pre-season is always tricky to get through completely unscathed. Um, this game probably comes a little bit early for a f for a few, which is which is disappointing because everyone's worked so hard to try and wants to be available for the first game of the season. So uh, look, there's always occupational hazards along the way in, in pre-season, uh, but hopefully all we'll short term. But um, nevertheless, there'll, there'll be a couple missing tomorrow. But uh, whoever puts on that shirt will be fit, ready, and raring to go. And since the last pre-season game against Haven't, we've seen Jaden Harris um, depart to Carlisle and we've seen Ryan Glover just announced. So what's the um, squad shaping up like now ahead of the tomorrow's game? Yeah, look, wish Jaden all the best and I think it shows what this club's about. We can give a platform and for young players to go and further their career and we wish him all the best. I think he's a, a special talent and we've seen the best of him, uh, you know, and we've also seen some moments of growth in him as well. Um, you know, Carlisle can... Um, I thought they were very professional the way that they handled it. Being so close to the season, it isn't ideal to lose one of your main players. We certainly didn't plan without him, but this is football, it moves quickly and uh, probably thank Carlisle for, for dealing with it so quickly. Sometimes these things can rumble on and that's no good for anyone. We all need to know where we stand. So um, look, he's moved up the pyramid and um, that's what we're all aiming to do as a, as, a, as, a, as a club and as players. We all want to aim high. and. Um, you know, we wish him all the best, but we've moved quickly to, to get Ryan in. Again, another attacking player who can play multiple positions. I think he is plug and play. He knows, I know him well, he knows us well. We obviously had him last season. Where I think um, Ryan, I think, obviously done, done really well for us last season, but the, the best is definitely yet to come from him. No one really realised he's actually played with a hernia most of the season, and that's when he went back to have an operation at the end of last season. So hopefully we'll get an even uh, more fit and fire in Ryan Glover, which is uh, you know an, an exciting proposition for us. And obviously we've been blessed with a home game for, for the first game of the season, so it's going to be really good to see a lot of fans here tomorrow cheering on the lads. Yeah, and listen, I, I, every new player is here because I sold the club and the fan base. So it'd be great to see them, for my new players to see what I was talking about, for the, for the fans to see our, our new team. And like I said, we're, we're gonna have to stick together this season. We're gonna have to gain any marginal gain we can. And our home crowd, our fans, they're certainly a, a positive. We need to keep them positive. We need to work hard. We need to know what it means to play for this club and wear that shirt. And we, you know, we wanna make them proud. Um, but you know, through the good times and the bad, if we can stick together, you know, who knows, we can, we, we might be able to do something special, but we've, we've certainly got a punch above our weight this year and we're going to need them behind us.